So I'm going to show you how to successfully send a digital timesheet to your supervisor and to the secretary. I'm going to show you also how to fill it out and how you are going to sign it as well. Now I've already shared with you a template that's already been prepared, a timesheet template. So you can use that uh, consistently throughout the years. Okay. So we need to open it up in Adobe Acrobat DC and every district device already has the software installed and, and the um, on your device. So if you don't have that, just go ahead and email helpdesk at phgisd.us. Make sure you send the name of the computer, which is right here, to that email and they'll install it for you. Okay, after you have that installed, I'm going to go ahead and go to the timesheet that I have already filled out. And as you can see, I have filled out my information. I put the dates, I put the times that I work, and I also put the total hours. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and just print the name, print my name in general. And then I am going to request the signatures. So when I'm ready to request the signatures from my supervisor and then also have my the our secretary fill out this information, I can just click on top here, sign document by typing or drawing a signature. I'm gonna select here. Okay. I'm not gonna use this. You can if you want, but I'm just gonna request signatures in general. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select request signatures. And what Adobe is going to do is it's going to send it to Adobe Sign. Okay, so get document signed fast. So who do I need to sign? Of course, I need to sign it. I'm going to add my supervisor. Those are the two people that I need to sign. I also want to send this though to my secretary. Okay. And I'm going to do it in a CC. I'm going to carbon copy it. So timesheet for myself, please review and sign the document. And then I'm going to select specify where to sign. So Adobe is going to upload document. It's going to detect where the signatures are located. And then if you can see on the bottom, here's the signature box that was created. And here's the signature box that was created. Now we need to assign these. So if I double click here, I'm gonna assign this to myself. I'm going to be the signer, okay? Now, if I double click here, I want Mr. Marquez to sign it. So I'm gonna make sure it's assigned to Mr. Marquez. Perfect. I'm ready to go ahead and send this out to the recipients. Okay, so when I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign, then send. So after I select sign, then send, it's gonna prepare the document. Few message for Aaron Whitelaw, so I need to go ahead and sign. So I'm gonna select start. <clears throat> I'm gonna sign here. All right, click the sign, processing the document. And so now it's going to be sent to the second recipient, which is my supervisor. After that, all you're doing is waiting for that signature. When you're done, when both recipients have signed, all the recipients have signed, you download that document and then send it again, send it to your secretary. Of course, I carbon copied it, so she has the document already. That's it. If you have any questions, email me at aaron.whitelaw at psgisd.us.